I'm coming, I'm climbing. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to say hello to you. I am on my way. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Hi everybody, this is Mr Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you super duper happy? I really, really hope so. I can't believe that we are here again together on YouTube. But this is no ordinary live stream because today I'm doing something a little different. I have decided to come up on the roof to do a special live stream. Now normally there would be a full English lesson today so normally you would have a recorded lesson but I thought today I would do something a little different so here I am outside up on the roof as you can see the Sun is shining however it is also very windy and there is a reason why it is windy because we have two tropical storms heading towards us at the moment so we have Tropical Dorian, so Tropical Storm Dorian, and also Storm Gabriel, which is actually on the way now. So you might notice around me, it is a little bit windy. There are some very strong winds battering the UK at the moment. I will just activate my live chat. Let's see if we have some people watching. That is the big question. I mean, I might be standing here on the roof at the moment on my own, talking to no one. So, who knows, I might actually be just talking to myself here. So, let's see, shall we? Am I talking to myself, or are there some people on the live chat? Let's have a look. Oh, hello there, Maria. Hello, Maria. Thank you for joining me today. I'm on the roof, I'm outside, standing in the wind. I hope I don't get hit by anything. I hope no large objects fly by and hit me on the head. Although having said that, it might knock some sense into me, to be honest. So hello, Maria, congratulations. You are first on the live chat. Oh, <laughs> sorry, we have no applause. <laughs> sorry about that. Just, just try to imagine that there are applause at the moment. It is a little bit windy today. Can you see behind me? The, the trees are blowing all over the place. So hello also to Haitham. Hello Haitham, who says, hello, Mr. Duncan. Hello to you as well. A big hi from England on the roof. And we have two tropical storms on the way. We have tropical storm Dorian and also tropical storm Gabrielle also on the way so two storms will be hitting the United Kingdom over the next 24 hours and already the weather is a little bit unsettled to say the least however there is good news because all of these storms are apparently bringing lots of nice warm air as well so it looks as if we're going to have some nice weather over the next few days which is lovely really isn't it when you think about it it's quite nice. Hello also to Maria again. Also to Sita, Sitala. Hello to Sitala watching in, I think you're watching in Egypt. Is that right? I think you are in Egypt. A big hello to you as well. Akinata. Hello, good evening, my good teacher. My good teacher, good evening. <laughs> okay, I added the second good. But the first good was real. But the second good I decided to add. Hello to the Lego boy. Hello Lego boy in Australia. How are you today? I'm okay, but I've decided to do something very stupid. There is a tropical storm. In fact, there are two tropical storms heading this way. So I thought I would come up on the roof and do a special live stream from up here. Right on the roof. Hello Olivia Hiroko, 
Hello also, old is gold. Hello, old is gold. I don't recognise your name. Are you new here? If it is your first time on the live chat, please let me know. Also, Helena is here watching in Brazil. I have a feeling that there will be lots of people watching in South America because in South America it is still early in the morning. Hello also to Wafe. Hello to you. Hello to Francesca. Also Anna again. <laughs> Mr Duncan, I like your new t-shirt and the new hat. They look different and nice. Thank you very much. I've actually had this t-shirt for a very long time. So this is not new. This is quite old. But I don't normally wear this t-shirt on the live stream. But today I thought I would wear something red and vivid. Hello also to Kamal. Hello Kamal. I thought I would do something slightly different because last week, if you remember, I did a live stream with my mobile phone whilst out walking. So I thought today I would do something different and go up on the roof. As we say hello to Tropical Storm, Dorian and also Gabrielle or Gabriel. Apparently Gabriel can be a lady's name or a man's name, which might be very confusing for some. Yaneth says, hello, Mr. Duncan. From Spain, a big hola to Spain. Nice to see you here today. Spain is here on the live stream. Hello also to Mika. Hello Mika, nice to see you here. Just to prove that Japan is not the only country that gets strong winds and rain. So you can see we are having a little bit of a blustery day. The wind is blowing because there are two storms heading towards the UK. However, the good news is they are also bringing some lovely warm weather. So over the next few days, it is going to be rather nice here. Already the newspapers are saying it's going to be a heat wave. <laughs> As they always do. I don't know if your newspapers are similar to here, but here in the UK, our newspapers tend to exaggerate. We often make things seem much worse than they really are. Hello also to Rakesh. Hello Rakesh. Hello Mr Duncan. Nice to see you again. I'm struggling with my English and I want to learn more from another one who is fluent in English. Well, first of all, listening to my English lessons, including my live streams, will help you to improve your English because improving your English listening is also part of learning English. So joining me on the live chat, joining me on the live stream, also watching my recorded lessons can help you to improve your English. And you might notice today there are live captions. So if you look underneath, you will see that there are some live captions. If not, please press C on your keyboard and you will have live captions. So as I speak to you, you will see exactly what I'm saying on the screen, which will also help you with your English. So there are many ways of using my live streams and also the live chat to improve your English. Yes, there are two tropical storms that are going to hit the United Kingdom and of course that includes England as well because I am in England. <laughs> hello also to Vietnam. Oh hello to Vietnam. Duen Mok is here also Monu. Hello Monu. Monu Khan living in India. A big hello to India. Oh and by the way I was very sorry to hear that the probe that you sent to, to the moon had a problem as it landed. So I was actually watching the television at the weekend. So last weekend I was actually watching a, a live feed from India as they were waiting for the probe that they, were, they had sent to the moon to send back a signal. But sadly they lost contact with it 
So that, that was sad. I, I was quite excited about that, to be honest. It seems like a long time since we, we took any interest in the moon. So I was rather excited about that, to be honest. Hello to Axanth. Hello to you. Mr Duncan, your weather is like in Spain, very similar. Sorry for my English. Don't worry. I can understand what you said. It was very clear, so don't worry about it. Please, Mr Duncan, don't feel cold. Well, I don't feel cold. That's the strange thing. I'm not cold. I'm actually very hot at the moment. I feel really hot right now because the, the air isn't cold. So, so the wind is blowing. However, the, the wind is actually warm air. So to be honest with you, it feels quite pleasant up here today on the roof. Claudio says hello as well. Ruben. Hello, Ruben. Nice to see you with your smiley face. Mika. Hello to Mika as well. Also, Pavel. Apparently, Russia is watching my video lessons. Hello to Russia. A big privet to you as well. Rakesh says, I am a fan of your videos and hopefully I will be fluent in English. Well, that is the aim, that is the goal of everyone who is learning English. One day you will be fluent in English. You will. Hello, Ahmed. Nice to see your clothes. Well, I thought today I would wear some clothes because I don't think it's a good idea to stand on my roof naked. I don't think the neighbours would be very happy, to be honest. <laughs> Hello also to Fuong and Lewis is here. Hello Lewis. As always, I haven't received any notification. The one thing I will say, for those who are not receiving notifications, can you make sure that you have your notifications activated? Because I think that might be one of the reasons why you are not receiving the notifications. Because perhaps, perhaps the notifications haven't been activated. So that is just an idea, just something to suggest to you right now. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I'm glad to hear from you again. Thank you, Claudio. I am here today on the rooftop, high up. And as you can see, we have the beautiful view of the Shropshire Hills. Say hello to Shropshire. <laughs> and Shropshire says hello to you. Where are you now? I am on the roof. There was a song recorded many years ago. Up on the roof. When this old world starts getting me down, there is one place that I like to go. Up on the roof. Hello also to... Rakesh again. Oh, it would appear that a lot of people want to say hello today. <laughs> Please don't type too many messages or I will have to put you on hold. Hello also from Wissal. Hello Wissal. I haven't seen you before. Is it your first time here? I'm always interested in two things, especially when I'm doing my live streams. I'm interested to know how good your English is, but also I'm very interested to know where you are, where you are actually watching. So I'm always interested to know those two things. Some people watch me in very strange places, can I say. Some people watch me in very strange places. Hossein asks, could you recommend some easy English movies? Well, I would always suggest watching things with subtitles so anything really so there isn't anything that's easy or hard just try to to watch anything an even better idea would be to watch something that you have an interest in so something that you are interested in just an idea just a suggestion hello to guadalupe Nice to see you here. Rosa says, Mr. Duncan, 
has the storm arrived in your city? Well, it is actually on the way. So at the moment we have two tropical storms heading this way. We have Storm Dorian and also Storm Gabriel. So we actually have two storms. However, I think that both of the storms are quite weak. So they're not strong storms. I think they're, they're quite weak now. So I don't think they will be doing much damage. Hello, Helena, Mr. Duncan. I Have you ever visited Brazil? I've never been to Brazil ever in my life. I haven't. I'm not very interested in Brazil, but I've never been there. Mr. Duncan, I like to listen to your program and I also get to learn original English from you. Thank you very much. Hello to Pankaj. Pankaj, nice to see you here today watching in India. Wow, it would appear that we have people watching all around the world as I stand here alone on my roof, <laughs> waiting to be blown away. Hello also to Anna. Hello, Anna. Yes, you have to click the bell underneath, underneath the video. So there is a way of activating the notifications so you will be notified when there are new lessons and new live streams on my channel. So these are two important things. First of all, I would recommend that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I would suggest that you activate the notifications because it is the notifications that tell you when things are happening on my channel. So that is my advice. Hello to Pavel. The international group is here again. Look, so many countries are here. You are not joking. <laughs> I think there must be around about 20 countries watching at the moment. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining me wherever you are in the world. Rissal says your live streams are very helpful, Mr. Duncan. Please keep it up. Keep up the great work. Thank you. I will try my best. I always try to do my best. I always try to give you everything you want. Of course, sometimes I can't do everything. Sometimes I can only do a little. So it really depends on how much time I have. So if I have a lot of time, I will always try to give my time to you always. Ali Raze says, Mr. Duncan, may I ask you a political question? Ooh, a political question. Ah, dear. Yes, I have a feeling. I have a feeling I know what this is about. I think I know what this is all about. I think so. How do you think, or what do you think, what do you think about Brexit and the new position that Boris Johnson has taken? Well, lots of things have been happening here in the UK over the past 24 hours. So at the moment, Parliament, the group that controls the whole country, has been shut down, which is very unusual. It doesn't always happen. In fact, it rarely happens. And at the moment, they are all doing nothing at the moment. So the government and parliament has actually closed. It has been suspended. It has been halted. And of course, we are supposed to be leaving Europe on the 31st of October, which also happens to be the anniversary of my YouTube channel. Can you believe it? <laughs> so not only is it Brexit Day on October the 31st, it is also the anniversary of my YouTube channel. Isn't that strange? So my own personal opinions, well, I don't think I want to give too much away because I'm not here really to talk about my own politics because I don't think that's fair, really. Hello also to Han Vu. However, if Mr. Steve was here, if Steve was here right now, I can tell you that he would give you his opinion. He would tell you exactly what he feels. 
exactly what he feels. Guadalupe says last week's classes were suspended due to the heavy rain. Really? So your classes, Guadalupe, were suspended. They were stopped. They were suspended. If you suspend something, it means you halt something, you stop something. Quite often, temporarily. So if you halt, it means you stop. But quite often, for just a short time. Or temporarily. If you do something temporarily, it means you do it for a short time. So maybe you stop, you do something, and then you start again. You do it temporarily. Hello also to Nijuan Ta Fat. Hello to you. How to speak English better? There are many easy solutions to speaking English better. One of them is get used to listening to English, improve your listening, try to remember some new words every day. Not too many. You don't have to learn hundreds of words every day. So don't try to rush. Don't push yourself too hard. Helena says, Mr. Duncan, what do you recommend for us as a way of improving English? Well, as I just said, listen to as much English, create an English environment around you. Imagine living inside a little bubble. And inside that bubble, everything is English. So maybe the, the, the language you hear is English. Maybe the things you see written down are English. So try to create an environment for yourself where you can hear English being spoken or used all the time. And there are many ways to do that nowadays. One of the reasons is because of the internet. I mean, look, I can stand here on my roof and I can talk to you live. And also you can have captions as well, live. It's incredible. I love it. I love it a lot. Mika asks, do you still have a cassette recorder? Oh, I see. I know why you've asked that. You've asked that because of my shirt. So this shirt represents retro, a retro image. So something that used to exist or something that people used to use, but maybe nowadays it isn't used or maybe people don't use it anymore. So we, we talk about retro as being something that is from the past, something that is maybe old fashioned, something that is classic. So something that existed before, but maybe doesn't exist very much now. So you might talk about retro as being something that is looking back, back into the past. Yes, I do have a cassette recorder. However, I think it's broken. I haven't used it for a very long time. But these are cassettes, tapes. Many years ago, we used to play our music on these. Guadalupe says, I miss the vocabulary that Mr. Steve uses to teach us. Well, Steve normally joins me on Sunday. So last Sunday, did you see Steve last Sunday? <laughs> Steve last Sunday, he was shooting the pigeons. Did you see him? Not really. He wasn't really shooting the pigeons, but he was getting angry because the pigeons were spoiling his new paintwork. So that's the reason why. How long will have you been studying English? Is this phrase correct? Uh, how long? How long have you? How long have you been studying English? Or you can say for how long? For how long? For how long have you been studying English? How long? Have you been studying English? So how long you are asking what the length of time is. So you are making, making an inquiry. You are asking how long something has been going on for. Of course, when we talk about how long, 
we are also talking about length as well. So how long can be measurement of length or measurement of time? How long? How long is a piece of string? How long is your hair? <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of something very rude then. How long have you been learning English for? How long have you been teaching on YouTube? I have been teaching on YouTube for nearly 13 years. Mm. Hello Rosa, nice to see you here. Hello also to Belarusia. Belarusia is here. Good, nice to see you. I hope your mother is feeling okay. And also best wishes to your father. I never say hello to your dad. So best wishes to your, both of your parents. Hello also to Muna. Hello Muna. Hi Mr Duncan. I like reading books but my English is poor. How can I improve my reading skill? Well maybe you need to do it more often. So if there is something that you have a weakness in, something that you have problems with, don't do it less, do it more, do it more. So if you want to improve your reading, you will need to do it more often. You will need to find some time to do it. So don't try to rush things, don't try to do it too quickly, because then you will get bored with it. So try to save a little bit of time every day where you can sit down and you can read and relax at the same time. And I always find that studying should always be done when you are relaxed. Never rush your studying. Never try to do it too quickly. Because what will happen is you will find it very difficult. You will become tired. And then after a while, you won't want to do it anymore. You will think, I don't want to learn English anymore. It's too hard. But maybe you are pushing yourself too hard. Maybe you are making it too difficult for yourself. Hello to Helena. Thank you for your tips, Mr. Duncan. They are precious for us. You are welcome, Helena. The sun... The sun has disappeared. Where has the sun gone? Ah, there it is. <laughs> it's a very strange day today because the clouds are moving very fast. So because it's windy, the clouds are moving really fast. So that's the reason why it keeps going dark and then it becomes light and then it goes dark and then it becomes light because the clouds are going by very quickly above my head. Hello Anna, hello Lewis again. Mr Duncan, do you know that the Henry, uh, I think that might be, is there, is there something else to your message? Lewis says, Mr. Duncan, do you know that the Henry, that's it. Please send me the rest of your message. <laughs> Lewis. Palmyra says, I have the day off today. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So you can spend your time with me relaxed. That's the way to do it. That's what I always say. You are wearing red today, Mr. Duncan. There is no reason why I'm wearing red. I'm wearing my red hat and my red shirt. But to be honest with you, there's no reason for it. Nothing special. There isn't a reason why I'm wearing red. I just put these things on today because I thought they looked nice because they match. They go together. Belarusia, thank you for your greetings. You are adorable. Thank you very much. Rose, Rose Bush. Hello, Rose Bush. By the way, I love your name. I think your name is brilliant. Rose Bush. <laughs> like, like the plant, you see. Because in your garden, you might see a rose bush. I like it. Ali Riez. I used to listen to cassettes when I was a child. Cassettes are cool. And maybe one day they will come back into fashion. 
So maybe one day you will see people listening to music on cassettes, tapes. So you never know. You might, you might suddenly see people listening to their music on tape like this. Palmyra, today is Wednesday, so I was expecting to find a new English lesson, but it is a live stream. Is this better? Now, uh, I was going to put a full English lesson on, but unfortunately yesterday I had so many problems trying to record my new lesson. I won't tell you why, but let's just say there was a lot of noise. It was so noisy here yesterday. Everyone was making noise and some of the noises were really loud. So sadly, I wanted to record a new live, uh, a new recorded lesson, my new full English lesson. However, it was just impossible yesterday. So instead, I thought, hmm, why don't I go on the roof and do a live stream instead? And that's what I'm doing now. Mika says, I used to use cassette tapes to copy music from vinyl records. Yes, I think that's a good idea. And of course, vinyl, vinyl records are actually coming back. So here in the UK, many people are buying their music on record instead of downloading it on the internet. So yes, that's amazing, isn't it? How can I study a new vocabulary? Do you prefer using pen and paper or only repeating? Well, I would say do both because I think writing is a great thing to do, not typing. So please don't get confused. When I talk about writing, I'm actually talking about holding a pen and writing because it's a great way of concentrating the mind. So when you write something by hand, your, your brain is working in a very different way because you are concentrating more on what you are writing. So if you write English words down on a piece of paper, it will actually go into your brain more clearly. It does work, honestly. And this is when I was young, when I was a child. Now, you might not realize this, and this is something very personal. You know that I'm very open with you. I don't hide anything. When I was a child, I had a great deal of difficulty reading. I really did. I was terrible at reading. I had a lot of problems reading and I, I couldn't read. And one of the slight problems I had was, was seeing the words on the paper. So when I was about seven, I, I actually went for extra classes to learn to read. Can you believe it? So the strange thing about that is they used to give me some exercises to do, which is where I used to write words down to help me remember them and also it would help me to recognize them so what I used to do I used to write things down I used to find a book or something I was interested in and then I would write the words down myself by hand so I would write things down and over time I found that all of the things that I wrote down stayed in my brain and that's it. So that's one of the ways I learnt English. Uh, one of the ways I improved my English, because when I was a child, I had difficulty reading. I'm not joking. Greetings from the Western Sahara, my dear teacher. Oh, my God. You look amazing today. Thank you, Kaiba. That's very kind of you to say. I'm not sure if I look amazing, but thank you very much. I think the scenery behind me looks amazing. It's a beautiful day here, even though it's very windy because we have two tropical storms coming towards the UK right now as I speak to you. Hello also to Nusha. Hello, your outlook, your view is very beautiful. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I can't see you. What's the problem? I don't know. I'm not sure what the problem is. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. 
Maybe you have your laptop closed. I don't know. Yes, Anna Rita also has noticed that vinyl records are coming back into fashion. Yes, it's very strange how some things over time, and this is something I've noticed over the many, many years that I've been alive on this planet. <laughs> I've noticed over the years that sometimes things will fade away and then suddenly they will come back. So they will <clears throat> lose their popularity and then later they will come back. <laughs> Sorry about my voice. Excuse me, my voice is going very strange. I'm starting to sound like Theresa May. <clears throat> Do you remember that time Theresa May lost her voice? <clears throat> Lewis says, Mr. Duncan, did you know that the mother of the Portuguese prince, Henry the Navigator, was the Duchess of Lancaster, Philippa? He started the discoveries that occurred along the African coast. I didn't know that. I didn't. I knew there was some connection. I knew that there was a connection, but I didn't know that. So thank you very much for that information. And the great thing about the live chat is if you write something down, it will always be there. So the live chat doesn't disappear. It will be there forever. Next to my video. Palmyra says, Mr. Duncan, you look very stylish in those red colours. And the watch is matching very well. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, I'm wearing my watch so I can watch the time, you see, because I have to make sure that I don't go on too long. I don't want to bore you, you see. You see, sometimes if I stay here too long, you might get bored. You might think, Mr. Duncan, why are you still here? I have other things to do. Please go away. <laughs> Asma says, greetings from Pakistan. Hello to you in Karachi. Nice to see you here today. Your live streams are my best treat. I'm always expecting your live streams anxiously. So if you wait for something anxiously, it means you are quite excited. So sometimes, and this is what I've noticed from my own experience, Sometimes the feeling of excitement can be very similar to the feeling of anxiety. So I think sometimes you get a strange feeling in your stomach and I can't express the feeling, but sometimes it feels like excitement and anxiety. I think one of the best words to use is apprehension. Oh, apprehension, a little bit of apprehension maybe. So perhaps, perhaps you are excited that, that my live stream might be on. But then again, you might be a little worried because you think maybe it won't be. So you might feel a little anxious or a little apprehensive. Hello to Helena. Mr. Duncan, what do you think about learning English through the word repetition system? Yes, I think repetition is a very useful part of learning. It isn't everything. So you can't learn English by simply repeating things. However, repetition, repeating things, is part of learning English. It is part of the process. So I would never say, you will never hear me say that repetition is a waste of time. Never. Because it isn't. So repeating things, and as I said earlier, writing things down by hand. So don't use a computer, use a pen, use a piece of paper. And when you do that, you are actually making your brain work in a different way. And that's why it's much easier to get things to stay in your head if you write things down, because you concentrate in a very different way. You are using parts of your brain that you don't normally use. So don't just try to remember words. Don't be afraid to repeat, repeat, repeat. Say the things again and again, even though sometimes it's a bit of a pain. <laughs> Hello to Nasir again. 
I can see your picture but not the live video. I don't know, maybe there is something wrong with your computer. I'm not sure. Majid says, at English class, it is really hard to participate during the lecture because I feel very timid and maybe because I'm not good at speaking. Plus, I'm making con comparisons between myself and the other good students. Well, Majid, can I just say that your problem is not unusual. A lot of people do feel self-conscious when they are learning something new. And it doesn't matter what it is. It can be anything. Maybe you are learning to sing. La, 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 la. But maybe you think your singing is terrible. Maybe you think that the friend who is next to you singing, maybe you think that they sing better than you. But perhaps your singing is better than theirs. So quite often we, we underestimate. We underestimate. We, we, we fail to realise that everything we are doing is probably better than we think. So quite often you will underestimate, you will feel that the thing you are doing is not as good as it could be. But the opposite might be real, the opposite might be true. In fact, you might be the best person in the class and you don't even realise it. So I think your own attitude to yourself and your attitude to your own level of learning is very important. It is something that you have to get used to thinking. Think positively about what you're doing. Don't, don't talk yourself down. Don't say, oh, his English is better than mine. Her English is clearer than mine. Don't think that. Because quite often, you will be wrong. You will be wrong about your own feelings towards how well you are doing. Trust me. It happens to me sometimes. Sometimes I think that I'm rubbish. Sometimes I think that I am rubbish at doing this. Some nights I lie in bed and I think, I am terrible. I'm no good at this. Other people are much better than me on YouTube. They, they are much better English teachers. They are better looking. They have better clothes. They are sexy. They are popular. And, and so I do the same thing. Sometimes I feel very negatively towards the thing that I do. So it's normal. It is normal for human beings to do this. And that includes me and also you. It is a completely normal thing. Mr. Duncan, you never bore me. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna. I'm pleased to hear that you, you feel excited. Palmyra says, I threw away all my son's cassettes. Oh, Palmyra, I think you are going to get into trouble later. One day your son will be looking for his cassettes and he'll say, Mum, Mum, have, have you seen my cassettes? I can't find them. I had them, but now I can't find them. Where are they? And you will have to say, son, I have some bad news. Unfortunately, I threw them away. Al Reze, we all like something from the past, something that reminds us of the past. Yes, I think that's true. Yes, you are right, Ali. We like something from the past, maybe something that we used to play with as a child cassettes, marbles, coins, and so on. Yes, there is a lovely feeling of nostalgia. And I think I'm a very nostalgic person. I always remember things from the past. And the strange thing is, quite often, it's always small things. It's very small things that you remember from your past. Not big things, but small things. One of my most vivid memories from my childhood was when I fell over. I fell over and I was eating an ice cream and I, tr I fell over and, and uh, I dropped my ice cream and I was so upset and I was crying and crying and crying, getting really upset over my poor ice cream because I dropped it on the floor and I can still remember it very clearly 
to this day. Isn't it strange? So these very small moments of time, these very small moments of time, for some reason, and I don't know why, they stay in your brain. So yes, I do. I have lots of small memories of my childhood, small moments of time. Some of them are good and some of them not so good. Rosa, nice outfit, Mr. Duncan. You look so cute. I really like the red cap and the red t-shirt. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. Thanks a lot. How lovely. I'm getting some lovely compliments for my clothes today. And yet, this clothing is very simple. It's just a simple t-shirt and a simple hat. <laughs> some people might say the person wearing them is simple. Yeah. Nah. Yes, mistakes are normal. We all make mistakes when we are learning. We all make them. I make them. You make them. It is just a normal part of the process of learning. Hello, Grace. Nice to see you here. You are the best teacher. Thank you, Grace. That's very kind of you. But, I, but even I have doubts. So sometimes I go through periods of doubt. And maybe, perhaps, maybe I am a person, maybe I am a person who has a lot of self-doubt. So I go through phases where I feel very doubtful about the things I do. I feel as if maybe I'm not doing a very good job or maybe I think that everyone else is better. So even I go through periods of doubt. Even I go through periods of self-doubt. So I think it is very normal. Jeff says, oh yes, today is September 11th. 9-11 so if you are living in the USA of course that day is very famous or should I say infamous so yes the, the, the 11th of September is a very infamous day and a very sad anniversary thank you Jeff for joining us and thanks for reminding me because I'd forgotten all about that isn't it strange I'd actually forgotten all about it Palmyra Many people now are digital people. Oh, I see. Palmyra says her son is now completely digital. So everything he, they have is probably on their phone. So I think, yes, it's very common for young people. So if you are, if you are a young person, not me, I'm not young, but if you are a young person, nowadays you will have most of your music on your mobile phone or maybe on your tablet device or perhaps on your laptop so yes by the way are you going to buy the new iPhone did you see it yesterday the new iPhone it has an extra camera wow that's never been done before <laughs> the camera that I use the phone that I use is an old phone I have my my iPhone 6s would you like to see it so this is the phone that I'm using at the moment to, to watch the live stream. There it is. So there it is, my little iPhone 6S. It is an old phone, but it is so good. It is a brilliant phone. It really is great. So I love this phone. It has a good camera. And of course, it is also very good for watching the live stream because I can look at your messages as they come through so no I don't have a new phone and I won't be buying the iPhone 11 no I won't I refuse they are too expensive <laughs> too expensive so no I will be keeping my old iPhone even though it's about four years old I will keep it hello to Georges it looks as if the wind is coming behind you. Yes. Can you see the wind is definitely blowing strong. You can see the trees are all blowing behind me. So yes, you are right. It is a windy day. Han Hassan says, Mr. Duncan, you are doing a good job. I appreciate your efforts. 
thank you very much. That's very kind of you, George. And also Hassan as well says hello. Thank you for your thank you for your appreciation. Isn't that nice? Nusha, Mr. Duncan, what are your suggestions for solving the problem of plateau in English? <laughs> well, the problem with plateau, plateau generally means leveling out. So as you get used to using English, you will level out. You will be on one level and then you stay there. But I personally don't think it's a problem because sometimes, and this is another thing that I like to talk about, learning, you can sometimes learn without realizing it. I think that's the most amazing part of learning things. So what one of my favorite parts of learning things is doing it without realizing. So quite often you can learn new things without even knowing that you are learning them. So I think sometimes you might feel as if your level is not improving. However, over time, your level might be actually improving slowly. You might not even realize it. You might not even be aware of it. My co-workers are always telling me that I am a very good English person. I am very good at speaking English. But when I chat with you and my classmates from this channel, I realize I'm not. That is wrong. You are wrong. Guadeloupe. That is exactly the thing I've just been talking about. Sometimes you can, you can become too obsessed with other people. You can become too obsessed with what other people are doing. You always think, oh, everyone else is better than me. Everyone else is doing better than I am. And that happens to me as well. So sometimes I think the same thing. So now and again, it is a good idea to actually stop and remind yourself how good you are at doing things. Today is Teacher's Day in Argentina, so happy Teacher's Day, Mr. Duncan. Oh, is it really? I didn't know that. Thank you very much. Teacher's Day is being celebrated today in Argentina. Lewis asks, Mr. Duncan, do you like the song by John Lennon called Imagine? I do. It's a beautiful song. Great lyrics, very deep, very meaningful. And yes, I think it's a great song maybe one of the best songs ever written. I think, I think it will be on the top 10 list, the top 10 list of the best songs ever written. I think Imagination will be on there. I think so, definitely. Belarusia says, I use a Motorola phone. I remember when I was in China, everyone had Motorola phones. They were really popular in China. So wh whenever I saw people with their phones, quite often they were Motorola phones. So I think in Asia, certainly during the time that I was in China, a lot of people used Motorola phones. They were very popular. So yes, I think you're right, Belarusia. They are good phones and I think they are still popular now. Hello, Palmyra, Mr. Duncan. Do you plan to you do you plan to obtain the electric bicycle? It is very trendy these days. Yes, I was thinking about it because if you remember, Mr. Steve and I went for a little holiday on my birthday and we actually rode around some beautiful country lanes on electric bicycles. And I must be honest, I absolutely loved it. I can't remember the, the I can't remember the last time I felt so so free and excited about anything. And Mr. Steve said the same thing. So we loved it. We really did. <laughs> Nusha, thanks a lot for your amazing words. You are in, you are welcome. You are very welcome. If I seem very distracted, by the way, there are trees in front of me blowing all over the place. <laughs> so as I look at you, I can also see trees doing this. 
<laughs> the trees are going everywhere so please excuse me if I seem a little bit distracted <laughs> Palmyra says I use an old small Nokia phone which I only use to catch the Wi-Fi and also take pictures it is amazing how these days the cameras that are inside mobile phones or smartphones are as good as professional cameras so I'm always very impressed by the the standard and by the quality and that's the reason why I have an iPhone so my iPhone isn't a new iPhone it's an old one it's a iPhone 6s so that is around four years four years old six yeah about four years maybe five years old so the iPhone 6s is the phone that I use but I must be honest I am very impressed by the quality of the camera inside the phone I love it in fact I use a lot of the footage a lot of the video footage a lot of the things that I film and show to you are actually filmed on my small iPhone and even I can't believe how good the quality is so I am very impressed and for me the quality of a camera is very important because this is what I do for a living this technically is my job I can hear voices in the distance Kathy says electric bicycles are very common in Japan I imagine they are and this is something again I remember from my time in China many people had electric bicycles Nasir how many laptops do you use on your live stream I don't use any laptops so everything you are seeing now is actually being controlled underneath me in my studio so all of this equipment is connected to the computer which is in my studio a computer by the way that you helped to buy yes remember that remember when my computer died and I needed to get a new one and some of you helped me to get a new one so the computer that I'm using at the moment in my studio to bring this to you was actually partly paid for by you and also me and Mr Steve so we all shared the responsibility and I will be forever grateful for that Maria I love the rustle of the leaves I can hear behind you yes the leaves are really rustling can you hear them in fact there are many things going on here at the moment the leaves are blowing and also there is a plane flying over my head going round and round and round and round Basnajav says I love your lessons thank you very much I hope they are not too boring as I said earlier sometimes I worry sometimes I'm lying in bed I'm awake I can't get to sleep and the only thing on my mind is am I good enough am I good enough are my English lessons good enough are my live streams good enough are they good enough for my viewers do my students like them so yes <laughs> so I have some of my equipment on the roof at the moment I have some of my equipment on the roof but most of my equipment is still in the studio but I have to use a lot of technology to do this so right now as I stand here on the roof you are watching me in definite in high definition isn't it incredible isn't technology amazing good morning mr. Duncan I have always watched your videos thank you Edusale Edusales thank you very much of course autumn is on the way when autumn 
When will autumn start in Much Wenlock? asks Kyber. Much Wenlock will have autumn now because autumn has already started. However, at the moment, it's it is still early autumn. So autumn hasn't arrived properly. We are still waiting. Excuse me. <coughs> One of the problems with standing on the roof and talking for a very long time is that your throat becomes dry you are a funny guy thank you very much Jeff asks did you record the puddle dance on your iPhone yes I did yes I did so the puddle dance that I, I might show on Sunday by the way I might show you the puddle dance on Sunday because I will be with you on Saturday and Sunday live every weekend so yes I did record the puddle dance on my iPhone you are right but many of the things that I show on my live streams especially when they are recorded they are often filmed on my iPhone so I do like the iPhone I must be honest with you however I refuse to get a new one because the one I have is brilliant so no I will not be buying an iPhone 11 I will stick with my iPhone 6s <laughs> my old phone Kyber says is the weather cold no it isn't it is absolutely boiling I'm really hot at the moment so I'm standing here and you can see that the Sun is blasting on my face and even the wind is warm so all of the wind that's coming in at the moment has all come from the Atlantic so it's all coming across from the Atlantic so the the air is warm air so all of the wind is bringing the warm air with it can you talk about your personalities personalities <laughs> you mean my personalities I only have one as far as I know maybe you mean famous people so maybe you mean famous people famous British people or people who are famous in the UK so personality can be your own behavior but also it can mean a person who is famous a person who is notable so yes personality there are many famous people here in the UK I'm not one of them by the way I'm not a famous person definitely not Guadeloupe I think the success of your channel is that you are very close to us you, you are really interested in our development and not only in your popularity that is not the usual stuff in youtubers I think that is true so I, I, I'm not I suppose I'm not desperate I'm not desperate so you will see a lot of people on YouTube who are very desperate to get subscribers and very desperate to get viewers and they will often do things to try and get attention so thank you Guadalupe that's very kind of you Mr Duncan says fantastic Liz hello fantastic Liz I like your name by the way how are you today I'm okay thank you very much not too bad for those who are wondering I am now standing on the roof of my house I'm actually above I'm above the studio at the moment I'm just adjusting my microphone excuse me so yes <clears throat> that is where I am at the moment I'm standing on the roof because we have two tropical storms heading this way we have storm Dorian and storm Gabrielle both of them coming towards the UK what was your first iPhone my first iPhone is the one I have now so my first iPhone 
was the iPhone 6s, which is the one I have now. <clears throat> before that, I had a Samsung. So before my iPhone 6s, I actually owned an, a, a, a Samsung 5... What was it? I can't remember what it was now. S5, I think it was. It was a Samsung Galaxy S5, which I still use, by the way. I still use it sometimes to watch videos because the screen is slightly larger. I think that's the only thing I don't like about my iPhone 6S. The only thing I don't like about it is that the screen is a little small. So I'm a little disappointed by the size of the screen. I think it's a little too small, but everything else is great. I love it. I love my old iPhone. Mr. Duncan, your weather and the sound of the trees and the sound of the shape of the houses behind you, all these have been made classic views, like a classical movie. It's really amazing. Thank you very much. Yes, this is, this is reality. When we talk about reality, sometimes reality is not real especially if you watch a lot of television however this is reality this is reality this is this is the world peaceful serene and not too bad hello to k hello k i like your name by the way it's very simple and to the point mr duncan are you not cold it is very windy out there I noticed that the British people often wear t-shirts and shorts, even though the weather is quite chilly. You will see that sometimes, especially, especially with macho men. So some men who are very macho and strong, not me by the way, they will often walk around in t-shirts and shorts, even when the weather is cold, even when it's really cold. They will still walk around. They will still walk around in their shorts and t-shirt. Tomorrow I will start a new school year, says Maria. Oh, I see. So I am meeting my old and new students. Ah, so you will have a new class to teach. Very interesting. I think between you and me, from my own experience of teaching, I always think it's really exciting when you meet a new class for the first time because you can get to know them, you can ask them lots of questions and quite often they will ask you lots of questions as well. So yes, there is something very exciting about meeting your class for the first time when you first walk into the classroom and you have all these new smiling faces waiting to be taught. It is a good feeling. It is. I love it. Belarusia. Hello, teacher. It feels like it feels so good being here watching you talking to us. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Even though I, I keep losing my voice. I keep losing my voice. Kaiba asks, why don't you buy an iPad Air 2? Because they're too expensive. <laughs> Apple products are very expensive and I think they are too expensive hello Rosa are you a teacher Maria asks Rosa Nasir you are looking good today a lot of people have mentioned this a lot of people have said that they like my look today I don't know why because I'm not really doing anything special I'm just wearing my hat and my t-shirt but thank you anyway for your compliments it's very nice of you to say Matthew is here. I am not, I have not been here for a long time. Matthias. Yes, I recognise your name. Matthias, I remember you. You used to be a viewer on my live streams when I first started doing them. In 2016, I started doing my live streams. Guadalupe is going to work now. I have to go now. I am going to watch the recorded video. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, Guadalupe. It's always good to see you. Even if you stay here for a short time or a long time, 
you can always watch the live stream again later on mr. Steve is not here because he is working at the moment right now Steve is out there he's out there somewhere driving around doing his job so Steve is not here at the moment he isn't thank you also to Maria who is an English teacher and this is something that I've noticed over the years that I do get a lot of people who teach English or teach generally watching my videos so I don't mind you you can actually you can actually oh sorry something just caught my eye then on the screen you can actually do it yes Mr Duncan you used a word I could not understand you said a lot of people are very desperate desperate a person who is desperate so if you are desperate it means you really want something and you will do anything to get it so a person who is desperate desperate a person who needs something badly or a person who is in a situation where they need things they are in a desperate situation they are desperate so an adjective or of course a noun as well so the feeling of being desperate so you are desperate hello also to Trang Lee hello Trang Lee nice to see you here today I have been on now for one hour and 15 minutes thank you very much for joining me today Mario asks what does it mean I smell a rat here ah. if you smell a rat it means you are suspicious of something you feel that something is not right you think that maybe something is happening that is not good you think maybe a person is being deceptive or maybe they are deceiving you you smell a rat you feel that something is not right maybe you feel that a person is being dishonest or maybe you think that a situation is not as it seems so there so if you smell a rat it means you feel that there is something wrong you are a little suspicious of what is happening you feel that things are not as they seem desperate to be desperate to be desperate for attention a lot of people on YouTube are very desperate for attention they want people to watch them look at me look at me please give me attention I am on YouTube I want your attention hello Vinjaj hello mr. Duncan I'm Vinjaj from Pakistan and I always watch your videos I like to download them and listen to them in my car that's very interesting <laughs> I'm not sure if I agree with you downloading my lessons but I'm glad that they are useful to you that's all I'm saying I'm very pleased to hear that they are useful even though you are downloading them I want to be a teacher like you Mr Duncan thank you Caesar well anyone if you want to be a teacher if you have that burning ambition inside the feeling the urge the thing you want to do is your burning ambition the thing that is inside it's almost like a fire burning inside you it is your burning ambition it is your desire to do something maybe you want to to have a certain occupation you want to do something you want you want to have a certain vocation in your life you want to do something I have a burning ambition hello also to Nork Nor Khalili or Nor Khalil nice to see you here as well hello mr. Duncan we do we have a live stream today I don't know about that Rams Ramzanura Ramzanura yes there is a live stream 
happening right now. You are watching it live at five minutes to three o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. There is no full English lesson today because I tried to record it, but yesterday it was so noisy here. There was all sorts of noises taking place. It was driving me crazy. So today I am on the roof instead doing a live stream. Your live streams look like conversations among friends and I really appreciate that. Thank you, Anna. Well, that's exactly what I think as well. I also think that this is like a group of friends meeting. Maybe you are, we are meeting at the local bar or the local restaurant or the local community centre. So this is like a big community, uh, our big English community. The classroom is the world. Isn't that great? Hello, Mr. Duncan. Can you give us your opinion on what is happening in the U UK? <laughs> Can you tell us what is happening in the UK? Well, at the moment, Parliament has been suspended. So at the moment, the government is not doing anything. They are doing nothing. Parliament has been suspended. So nothing is happening. And Brexit, the subject that we have been talking about here in the UK for the past three and a half years. I can't believe it. For the past three and a half years, we have been talking about nothing but Brexit. So it was supposed to happen on the 29th of March, but then everyone changed their mind. They thought, hmm, yes, we can't agree. We can't come to an agreement. Mm. So let's postpone it and have it on the 31st of October, which is just about five weeks, six weeks. So six weeks before we leave the European Union, or at least we, we might, we might. But the, the situation here is very confusing. It has divided a lot of people, some families, have almost split up because of Brexit. So a lot of people are actually falling out. They are having disagreements over Brexit. So it has caused a lot of problems here in the UK. I'm not going to pretend that it hasn't caused problems because it has. It really, really has. And I'm waiting now for someone to ask, Mr. Duncan, what did you vote for? Did you vote to leave or to remain? What do you think? Mm. What do you think? What kind of car do you have? I don't have a car. I don't drive a car. I don't have a car. I've never driven a car. I've never taken my driving test. However, I used to ride a motorbike. I used to ride a motorbike many years ago. Hello also to oh mr steve has a car though mr steve drives a car he has a mercedes a mercedes so steve drives a merc hello maria you are welcome rosa thank you very much for that i love it when people leave nice messages to each other it's very nice a lot of people seem to download my lessons even Nushar, who has a folder. I have a special folder in my computer with all of your lessons. And it says, Mr. Duncan. Belarusia says, please don't stop. Don't stop doing your full English lessons. I learn so much from them. Well, I want to carry on making them, but there are two problems with my full English lessons. One, is that YouTube is not notifying anyone. So when there is a new lesson, YouTube is not telling my viewers, which is a bit of a pain, really. And also sometimes it takes a lot of time as well to make a full English lesson. So yesterday I tried to, to film my full English lesson, but around here, it was so noisy. There was all sorts of noise going on. And it was so noisy, even in my studio, 
I could hear the noise. So it was very noisy. Lots of people having things done in their gardens. Ramzanura says, thank you, Mr. Duncan. Thank you for reading my lesson, uh, reading my message. This is the first time that I've joined you on the live stream. Ramzanura, welcome. And it's great to have you here. I wish I could give you some applause, but sadly, I don't have them here. <laughs> so we will pretend to have some applause. So welcome Ram Ramzanua or Ramzanura. Welcome to my live stream. Hello to why can't I comment? Root Rutong Lee asks why can't I comment? Well, I can see your comments now, so I think you can comment. Welcome. Ali Reze, what did you vote for? I think that you are a Democrat. Oh, I see you think that I'm a Democrat. Well, we don't really have Democrats here in this country. We have we have the right, which is conservative, and then we have the left, which is Labour. And then we have small groups of people, such as the Liberal Democrats. So there is a Liberal group. However, the group is very small, very small. Can you show Mr. Steve's car on your live stream? Well, I can't do it at the moment because I have no, no way of doing it. But yes, thank you very much. Mr. Steve's car has appeared a couple of times in my videos. One of Steve's first cars, I remember when I met Steve 30 years ago, when I first met Steve, Steve was driving a, a Renault, a French car. So 30 years ago, Steve was actually driving a Renault, Renault, a French brand of car. But over the years, Steve has driven many different cars. He's also had a Mondeo, Ford Mondeo. Also, he also had an Audi as well, Audi. But now he has a Mercedes. Mr. Duncan, at the moment, the Parliament has the upper hand, haven't they? Or don't they? Yes, they do. Yes, at the moment, Parliament has forced Brexit into a corner. So that is the reason why Parliament has been suspended, or one of the reasons. The other reason, of course, is because coming up soon, there will be what they call party conferences, where each group from each political party will meet together. So there are two reasons why, why the Parliament has been suspended. One of the, the main reasons is because of Brexit, but the other reason is because there are some party conferences. So there will be a Conservative Party conference, a Labour Party conference, a Liberal Democrat Party conference. So they will all happen over the next few weeks. So this is a very busy period of time, even though Parliament has been suspended. It is a crazy time. I think in my life I have never known a period of such chaos uh, as, as what has happened over the past three and a half years. It's been a bit crazy, to be honest. Why doesn't YouTube accept your full English lessons? Well, I'm not sure if they don't accept them, but they don't tell people about them. And this is a problem I've had for many years. It seems very difficult for me to, to actually get my subscribers to see my videos. And that also includes my live streams as well. It's very hard to get people to see them. However, you are here today and you are joining me live. So if you are here, I am very pleased to see you. Very pleased. <laughs> Marcia. Hello, Marcia. I wish I could understand every native speaker as easily as I understand you. Your lessons are always interesting. 
I can learn a lot without studying. Well, that is the reason why I'm here. So my, my whole plan, in fact, my original plan 13 years ago, when I first started making videos on YouTube, my first plan was to involve everyone. So I wanted my English lessons to be available to everyone. And that includes you as well. I think the environment is too polluted now, Mr. Duncan, says Dang. Hello, Dang. Where are you watching? Are you in Vietnam? I think you may be in Vietnam. I think so. Can you see the sun has actually moved? When I started doing the live stream today, it was over there. But now the sun is over there. <laughs> it has moved during the past 90 minutes. I've been on for 90 minutes, standing here talking to you. Hello, what about Article 13? R. Garcia, or R. Garcia, asks, what about Article 13? Well, that is something that may or may not affect me in the future. But at the moment, I don't think, I don't think Article 13 is affecting me right now. But who knows, maybe in the future, it will. It will. It could be your subscribers' settings. Well, my, my settings are always open. So anyone can see my channel. Anyone can watch my videos. I don't have any restrictions on my, on my videos. There, is, there are no restrictions. So anyone, anywhere in the world can watch my videos. I have no restrictions. The only place where there is a restriction is China because they block YouTube. So they have blocked YouTube for many years. Naomi, hello, you improve my day. It's Teachers Day in Argentina. Yes, a big hello to all the teachers watching in Argentina and also around the world. Maria says, I always receive notifications of your lessons and live streams. Also in the email. Yes, that is very important. So if you want to follow my lessons, if you want to follow my live streams, I suggest that you subscribe to my channel. And that means that for some of you, you will have to create a YouTube profile. So what you do is you create your own account. You create a YouTube account with your name and email and then you can subscribe to my channel and also receive notifications. You will be told whenever I'm live or whenever I post a new video, you will always find out. Fantastic Liz, you have a nice British, British accent. Thank you very much for that. You have a nice British accent. I'm very pleased to hear that you like my accent. Yes, I think a lot of people who follow me on YouTube have not activated the notifications. So they will not be told when there is a new lesson or a new live stream. However, I will tell you now that there will be a live stream this weekend, Saturday, 12 midday 12 p.m on saturday uk time and on sunday 2 p.m uk time so i will be with you on saturday and sunday every week i am with you so every weekend you will see me on youtube on saturday and sunday i will be going soon because i've been here for a very long time Hello to Very. Hello, Very. Very Aura. Hello, Mr. Duncan from Thailand. A big hello to Thailand. I have a feeling it might be warm there. I think so. <laughs> Mr. Duncan, get to see. Could you explain the grammar of this sentence? If you get to see something, it means you have the chance to see it. So if you get to see, it means you have the chance. So in that sense, the word get means to have a chance. You receive 
the chance. You get the chance. So to have the opportunity. So that's another way of expressing it. You can say, I hope I get the chance to visit England. I hope I have the opportunity to visit England. So both of those sentences are the same. Jeff says, we love you live on YouTube. I think some people prefer my recorded lessons whilst some people enjoy watching my live streams. So there does appear to be two different types of viewer. So you have people who like watching my recorded lessons and people who enjoy watching my live streams. Excuse me. I am suffering from a sore throat. My throat is a little bit dry because I've been talking for so long. There you are. I'm back now. Thank you very much for your lovely company today. What are you doing to protect the environment? What am I doing? Well, first of all, I don't have a car. <laughs> so that's a pretty big that's a pretty big thing to, to help the environment with. I don't have a car. I never drive a car. I've never driven a car. I often walk to town. So I do a lot of walking. Uh, I would love to have a bicycle. So that's the next thing. I'm thinking of getting a bicycle. Not sure yet, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so yes, Ali says to get to see means to have the chance to see you get to see something you get to do something so get in that in that sense it is chance you get to see it i get to do it i get to any activity you can get to get to do it get to see it you could also get to a place as well. So that means traveling. The word get has many meanings. It really does. So get can mean travel. You get from one place to another. Get can also mean opportunity. You get the chance. You get the opportunity. You get to see something. I followed your lessons for about half a year and I'm really lucky to find some way to join first. Oh, this is your first time. Ri Tong. Ri, Ri Tong Li. Where are you watching at the moment? I finally get to know that it is 2 p.m. and in China it is 9 p.m. Oh, I see. So Ri Tong Li, you are actually watching in China. Congratulations, well done. Congratulations, can I say well done because you have got past the great firewall of China. So it's nice to see you here. So yes, 2 p.m. every Sunday and 12 p.m. just after lunchtime every Saturday. So yes, I'm here every week, every weekend. And I used to live in China, by the way. I spent many years living in China, working in China. Are you okay, Mr. Duncan? A cup of tea with some honey might soothe your might soothe your sore throat. Well, I have been talking for a hundred minutes. I've been talking for one hundred minutes. I have been talking, so that might be the reason why my throat is very dry. Don't worry, I'm not ill. I haven't got a cold. I think it's just because I've been using my voice for a very long time. I think so. Hello also to Mario. How is Mr. Steve doing? Thank you, Mario. Isn't that nice? Mr. Steve is OK. He is out there at the moment, out there somewhere doing his work. So he's not here at the moment. 
and that's the reason why he isn't here today but he might be here on Sunday ah, he might be here on Sunday and he's promised that he won't shoot any pigeons because a few people were very concerned they thought Mr Steve was going to, sh to start shooting pigeons can I just say now he isn't <laughs> I think he was joking So yes, I think maybe my throat will be okay. Maybe I just need to rest my throat, rest my voice after I have finished. How much to get in is a common phrase that we use at the doors of museums. Yes, how much to get in? How much does it cost to enter? So maybe what is the charge? So what you are actually asking is, what is the charge for entrance? What is the entrance charge? So you might say, how much to get in? How much to get in? What is the cost of entering? How much to get in? John White. Hello, John White. What is the meaning of the word rhetoric? Well, rhetoric is something that is used a lot, especially in politics. It is where you say something with, with no answer. You say something that has no answer or no outcome. Rhetoric. Quite often we will ask a question that needs no answer. So you might ask a question maybe to yourself, but it doesn't need an answer. You don't actually want an answer from someone. So we call that a rhetorical question because the answer isn't required. There is no answer needed. So you ask something, but there is no need to answer. So quite often, rhetoric is something that is said that has no meaning or no result. Quite often, you will hear politicians being accused of using rhetoric, especially recently here in the UK. A lot of people have been accused of using rhetoric, saying things that have empty meanings, that have no substance or meaning. They just talk and talk and talk. Blah, 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 blah. Where are you from, Ali? Yes, that's a good question. Where are you from, Ali? I want to know as well. <laughs> Thank you very much for your company today. I will be going soon because I've been here now for 105 minutes. Yes, exactly. 105 minutes I've been here. So I will be going soon. If you want to say something, do it now. Do it now. Thank you very much to John White for your message by the way John White that sounds like a British name are you in England is that what you're doing at the moment are you actually living in the UK Ali says I cannot tell you the feeling about living here in a few words but answering your question in short I live in Iran thank you Ali for telling everyone where you are and a big hello to you and everyone watching in Iran. I know I have a lot of people watching in Iran and I know also sometimes it's difficult for you to watch but I am very very pleased to see you here. I, I have no problem with anyone wherever you are watching if you want to watch me in the North Pole or the South Pole if you want to watch me in the United States or India or China, anywhere, in fact, you are more than welcome. That is my message to you. Have you ever uploaded your dance video on your YouTube channel? Have you ever uploaded your dance video on your YouTube channel? My dance video? I don't remember I don't remember making a dance video. I don't think I've ever made a dance video. Have I? Have I made a dance video? I can't remember. <laughs> Look, 
I've made nearly 700 videos. <clears throat> I can't remember all of them. <clears throat> Maria says, can you give us the pronunciation? Rhetoric. Rhetoric. So rhetoric is the thing that you are using. You are using rhetoric. But also you can pronounce it rhetoric. Rhetoric. So some people say rhetoric and others say rhetoric. And to describe the question, we say rhetorical, rhetorical. So a question that needs no answer is a rhetorical question. Palmyra says, I remember the puddle dance. Oh, I see, yes. I forgot all about that. I did mention the puddle dance earlier because I think I think Jeff mentioned it. So yes, there is a video that I made a couple of years ago where I'm dancing in a puddle. However, it is not on my YouTube channel. But on Sunday I will show it. Is that a good idea? Okay, do we have a deal? Okay. On Sunday I will show you my puddle dance and it would appear that lots of people like it. And yes, I did film it on my iPhone success. I did. There are many Italians here. I think Mr. Steve. Oh, Mr. Steve, thank you for your work improving our English. Well, Mr. Steve isn't here at the moment, but I will send your message to Mr. Steve when he gets home. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pigeon. <laughs> Mr. Duncan, how long does it take to make a video? some of my recorded lessons take maybe two or three weeks to make so some of my old videos some of my very long videos there are some really nice videos on my youtube channel some very long lessons where i talk about one subject but generally it can take maybe one day or maybe three days sometimes a week sometimes two weeks so it really depends on how much work I have to do. It really depends on how much work I have to do. A lot of people are admiring the view. Thank you very much. I will stand aside so you can see the view. Yep, 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 yep. There it is, the view today. It's looking rather nice, I must be honest with you. Even though it's very blowy. The wind is blowing today because we have we have two tropical storms coming our way. We have Storm Dorian and also Storm Gabriel or Gabriel coming this way. Victor says, I enjoy your videos with my son. He is nine years old from Colombia. Thank you, Victor. And also a big hello to your son as well. Enjoy English. That's all I can say. Iran is a very beautiful place. No, Mr. Duncan. The internet is partly good here, but we have to use the VPN to have access to YouTube. So a very similar situation to China. So in China, most Western or outside internet has been blocked. So I'm not quite sure exactly what the situation is in Iran, but it does sound like it's similar. It's a similar situation. So if you want to access YouTube in Iran, you have to use a VPN, which is an outside, an outside network. Sometimes governments do things. Sometimes they think they are doing things for the right reason. Sometimes they do the wrong thing. So this is something I said the other day to one of my uh, callers to my house we had someone knocking on the door trying to sell something and they were talking to me for a very long time and I said look in life some people do the right thing for the wrong reason and some people do the wrong thing for the right reason and I think that happens a lot in politics so some countries believe that they are doing the right thing but in fact it might be the wrong choice or the wrong step so I think this happens a lot in all countries, including here in the UK. 
why do storms always have names of women now as I understand it I think it depends on the type of storm because I think some storms have male names so some storms are named after men and other storms are named after women so here in the UK we often name our storms after women or is it men <laughs> I can't remember now it's been a long time since we've had a local storm so the storms that are coming this way are the ones that are coming from overseas they are coming across the Atlantic but the good news is they are bringing lots of lovely warm air and that's the reason why today everything is very warm it's a lovely day here in the UK I wish you could be here right now I wish you were standing here next to me and we could turn around and look together at the beautiful view nice <laughs> it is Wednesday afternoon and it's mr. Duncan live on YouTube for a few more moments and then I'm going I've been here for nearly two hours nearly two hours I've been here hi mr. Duncan it is my first time chatting from India hello Bara Singh hello Bara it's nice to see you here today and a big hello to India I know I have lots of people watching in India and can I say I was very sorry to hear that the the small space probe that you sent to the moon was unsuccessful I was watching it on Sunday I was actually watching TV as the pictures were coming from India everyone was waiting for the first signal but sadly no signal arrived which is really sad so yes very disappointing so maybe next time you will have better success Zara says hello to Mr Duncan from Iran thank you Zara you are more than welcome to join me here hello Ri or Rai Rai Sochit hello Mr Duncan it is my first time here as well and I'm watching in Cambodia hello Ri or Rai Sochit nice to see you great you are more than welcome to join me Cambodia now I know I do have some students in Cambodia so welcome mr. Duncan your hug has reached us all thank you did you see that thank you very much I'm glad you noticed that hello also to have you ever been to Turkey have I been to Turkey yes I have I have been to Turkey I've been twice to Turkey <clears throat> I went to Turkey many years ago before before the change of government so the government has changed since I went to Turkey so I haven't been there for for a number of years but I had the most amazing time in Turkey also I made a lesson in Turkey there is a lesson that was filmed completely in Turkey and it is available on my YouTube channel going on holiday is the name of the lesson I am from Spain it is nice to meet you Agarcia hello Agarcia nice to see you here as well Nasea is saying goodbye see you later Nasea I hope you've enjoyed this rather unusual live stream I've been up on the roof today standing on the roof talking to you all <laughs> as as the tropical storms approach the UK we have two coming hello also to Zara who says I prefer to listen to your lesson so I prefer not to chat that's okay you don't have to chat a lot of people just like to watch and listen and read the captions as well Ma Maria or Maia Maia oh hello Maia Etta says you have almost got to make it mr. Duncan do you mean two hours I'm almost 
I'm almost at two hours. I've been here for nearly two hours talking to you. Yes, it's been a very long time. There are lots of uses of the word storm, by the way. There is a storm coming tonight. In fact, it is arriving right now. Storm. There are many ways of using the word storm. A storm can be violent weather conditions, wind and rain. Also, storm can mean outrage or disagreement. So quite often you will hear storm being used to describe people getting angry about a certain thing. We will often say Twitter storm. So if people are fighting on Twitter about a certain subject, we will call it a Twitter storm. Storm can also mean violently move. So maybe if you get angry, you will storm out of a room. You will storm off. So in that sense, we are using it as an adjective. You storm off. You storm out of the room. <laughs> Sorry, there was a fly on my glasses then. A little fly decided to land on my glasses. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Where is your place? It looks different. Cadney, I am now on the roof of my studio. So underneath is my studio and over there you can see the beautiful landscape of Shropshire in England. So it's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon, very windy, but also it's very warm as well because right now we have a lot of tropical air coming from the Atlantic. I would be a brilliant weather forecaster. I should be on the television, really, shouldn't I? Reading the weather. Today, the weather will be mainly dry and sunny with lots of wind coming in later and maybe some rain as well. I think I would be a brilliant, a brilliant weather forecaster. Thank you also to Nusha and Ali Reze. Storm, Storm Charlie. Oh, yes. I remember Storm Charlie. That was a long time ago. Accent has to go to work now. OK, then, Accent, I will see you later. Guess what? I am also going as well. I am about to leave you. I will say goodbye in a moment. I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream. I have been on for nearly two hours. <laughs> Valentin says... Mr. Duncan, I am concerned about the colour of your clothes. Are you sending a secret signal to the world? So you think that I'm somehow sending a secret message to the world. But what is the message that I'm sending? I don't know. I mean, red can mean many things. Red can mean victory. Red can mean death. Red can mean anger. So red is a colour that can be expressed in many ways. But no, the only reason why I'm wearing this today, the reason is because I like this and I like this and they go together well. So there is no secret message. There is no conspiracy. I am not sending signals out to the world. <laughs> Don't worry. Nothing like that. Thank you very much for your lovely company today. Thanks, Accent. Thank you, Catty. I am sad that I couldn't hear Mr. Steve's voice today. Well, he will be here on Sunday. You will be able to see and hear Mr. Steve on Sunday. He will drop by on Sunday. Saturday, I am here on YouTube. Sunday, I am also here on YouTube. So I'm with you every weekend, twice. Twice. Thank you, Ar Ar Garcia. Thank you, Ali Rezai. Thank you, Catty. I will see you all again later. And I hope you've enjoyed this today. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. It has been a little bit different. Something unusual. Something challenging. It took me a very long time to, to prepare this. Because I had to tie everything down to make sure it didn't blow away. So I had to make sure that, that nothing would go wrong. I'm just enjoying the view.
quite nice really isn't it it's rather lovely thank you very much for your company today thank you mika thank you also to maria thank you kathy john white john white says i live in zimbabwe and a lot of people here have english surnames that's quite interesting so did you see what i did there i actually made an assumption i assumed because your name sounded british i assumed incorrectly that you lived here but you actually live in zimbabwe a big hello to you and everyone watching in zimbabwe nice to see you here palmyra says bye bye and happy brexit thank you very much thank you i noticed that you didn't eat anything not today although in a moment when i finish this i will be going into the kitchen and i will have a little sandwich because i am hungry thank you mr duncan thank you valentin thank you grace thank you rosa i am going now i hope i don't fall off the ladder thank you also to jeff mr steve is always fun well he will be back on sunday but i have told him that he's not allowed to shoot any pigeons so that will definitely not be happening naruto is here hello mr duncan have you changed your schedule no this is an extra live stream so today is extra but i will be with you on saturday and sunday so next saturday i am with you 12 p.m uk time on saturday 2 p.m sunday all of the details are under this video so if you look underneath where all of the the writing is not there not there but down there you will see lots of details about my lessons and when they are on thank you naruto thank you mika i'm going now this is mr duncan in the birthplace of english on a beautiful day even though we have two tropical storms coming along to to blow my hat off and of course you know what's coming next yes you do until the weekend i will see you on saturday 12 p.m uk time ta-ta for now